What's going on guys, you are watching the Tech Spot on the Spot on Tech YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over three main topics in our show today. Um, recent changes to the Netflix, um, brand new update coming to the Google's Android market, and finally so a brand new gaming device slash phone that uh, is coming to AT&T very soon. Alright, let's head over to our first topic, Netflix. There's been lots of rumors going around about Netflix um, changing up their whole plan scheme um, and possibly separating DVD from streaming and yesterday they did just that they announced these brand new plans um, to their to their services um, so if you're gonna if you want uh, DVDs and streaming both in the same plan it's gonna cost cost you roughly 16 bucks uh, up until now it's been like 9.99 I believe correct me if I'm wrong but um, so there a lot of people are very unhappy about that and in fact a lot of people are saying they're gonna unsubscribe and whatnot but you know um, that's gonna take effect this September so people are saying they're gonna unsubscribe come August 31st and then it's just gonna be done uh, done with that um, they're implementing a streaming only plan with no discs for $7.99 and and yeah uh, if you want the if you want both the DVDs and the streaming, it's going to be roughly 16 because the DVD plan is 7.99, as well as the streaming plan is 7.99. But they're no longer one single plan, which kind of sucks. I'm a Netflix user. I don't use streaming that often, but when I do, it's very convenient to pull out my iPad or the iPhone, put it up on the Apple TV. It's streaming right there, you know. Uh, very convenient. So probably gonna miss that a little bit. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download downgrade to a DVD only plan. Because I don't use streaming that often, but it kind of kind of sucks that they're doing that. A lot of people are going to unsubscribe. If you're a Netflix user, what are you going to do? Let us know in the comments below. All right, let's move over to our second topic today. Google is going to be updating the Android Market app on phones, adding movies and books tabs as well. Um, I'm looking at a picture right here. I'll put it right up on the screen. And it looks a lot like the Windows 7 interface. Um, I'm not an Apple fanboy or anything, but a lot of, uh, when Apple stole the notification system from Android, which they completely did, I totally noticed that they did do that. Android was all the Android fans were all mad and everything, but then here comes Android stealing Windows Phone Seven uh, similarities and stuff like that. And you know, who really came out first? iOS was the first one. Android is a great system. Um, I like both. I'm not a fanboy of either either side. I'm just stating my opinion. But um, if you're looking at the picture here, the whole tiles look is very much like Windows Phone 7. And I'm reading in the comments down below on this website, a lot of Windows Phone 7 fans are complaining that they copied and so so on and so forth. But, you know, that's technology. It's going to happen. You know, just my personal opinion. Copying is bound to happen sometime if they want to keep up with the competition. Um, but moving on, they added movies. They're adding movies and books tabs to it. Um... So you're gonna um, for one ninety nine, you're gonna be able to start watching movies almost instantly, and you can rent books as well. Um, check out the link in the description below for a full article on that. Um, also, a video down below as well too. Uh, this is gonna be rolling out to Android two point two and above very soon, but you can go ahead and get an early download from the description box below if you're feeling if you're feeling brave. So go ahead and check that out our third and final subject today is a brand new gaming device slash phone coming to AT&T and that's gonna be the Sony Ericsson Xperia play with gingerbread um, no one really knew about this but AT&T just announced not in a press release or anything just very casually that they are going to sell a Sony Ericsson Xperia play phone which is basically what what they're calling the PSP phone so it's gonna run uh, a lot of Sony different different they're gonna have a this thing called Xperia Play, it's gonna be, I guess they're trying to compete with like the games in the App Store and whatnot, but it's gonna be running Android Gingerbread and it's gonna have controls just like the PSP except there's not gonna be a joystick from what I'm seeing in this picture. You can go check that down in the link below, the description box below for all of the links. Um, it's gonna be 4G HSPA, HSPA Plus compatible up to 21 uh, megabits down per second so you know not bad not bad I'm not gonna complain it's gonna be available in two different models the black model and the uh, blue model um, it's gonna have a one gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon chip 
with a four inch display and uh, as always go in the description box below and check out the pictures and the full article on that and other AT&T news the HP touchpad 4G was released and if you want to see a hands-on video for that like I said before just check the description box below and we'll uh, link you to that there um, anyways just let me know what your thoughts are in this video rate comment and subscribe are you gonna unsubscribe from Netflix now that there's a completely different uh, pricing plan uh, let me know because I don't think I am but if you are I'd like to hear your feedback and I'd like to hear why so please uh, tell me that leave your questions comments and feedback in the comment section below and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of the tech spot thanks for watching